Shalom. Now on keeping the word of God. What do you need to keep the word of God? How do you keep the word of God? Is some of the questions that we may be having as Christians. So keeping the word of God is you staying alive. Keeping the word of God is you trying to cultivate your spirit. It is you trying to make sure that you are on the same page. The Bible says, heaven and earth will pass, but the words that I speak to you will not pass. They will be here to stay, they will not pay. So as Christians, we have to keep the word of God for us to live just like this, the same way you need food to go on each and every day. You need food, you need water. That's the same way you need the word of God as a Christian. You need the word of God to keep on. So how do we keep the word of God? The Bible says in the book of James, chapter number 1, verses 22, be not only the hearers of the word, but also be the doers. And do not deceive yourself. And saying we only we only hear the word and then you do not do we have to live according to the word we have to keep the word of god for it to stay alive in us for we to keep the word of god we need to have love for the bible says in the book of first john chapter number four it says for god is love if someone says they have love and they do not love god that then those guys they do not have love for our god is love in john 14 verse 15 it says if you love me keep my commandments Meaning that if you love God, you should keep his commandments. Keeping his commandments is saying that you have to follow each and every word that you say. You have to do everything by what you say. You have to follow. For us to be Christian, we have to follow the will of God. That is keeping the word of God. Amen.